That was uh, Come On, Light My Fire by The Doors. But that was the Jose uh, Feliciano version from 1968, a year after the release of the original by The Doors. Um, I like this, but I'm not used to creating... So the for the uh, cor chorus, it's a G, A7, D, B minor. And the way that Jose plays... This is how I usually play those chords. So it would be D... G. Hold on, who's that? Emery Masor. How you doing? How's the hotel? Um, so the way I usually play these chords would be G, A7 up here, and D. Ooh, fell out of tune already. D to, uh, oops. To uh, so G A seven D B minor G A seven D B minor G F minor sharp E but the way he does it is he plays the G up here instead of here it's kind of got that open feeling. Very quiet and raining. Oh, it's beautiful out in Paris now. We've had some real good weather for the last past few days. Sorry to hear it's raining, but maybe that's a good thing. Um, so, so he plays the G there, and then he plays the A7 like this. And this is also a very nice jazzy sounding chord. Let me see where the problem is here. crank the truss rod or something like that but <clears throat> if I ever come across anyone who is a uh, guitar tech I'm gonna see if they can get to the bottom of the problem here um, yeah it's very strange it's almost as if the uh, strings are sort of pivoted sort of um, tilted so to speak but let me let me just try to tune this up real quick if you can bear with me I can try to talk through it as well so so Jose, he did this. So the song was written by Bobby Krieger, who is the guitarist of the Doors. Right? I think my voice is affecting the tuner. And um, then Jim came in, Jim Morrison, the singer of the Doors, came in and uh, added the sort of the, the, the sort of uh, called the sort of uh, you know the lyrics, which are a bit more. 
pessimistic's not the word, but um, uh, existentialist, not quite the word. Um, uh, mortalistic, maybe. I don't know if that's even a word. Um, the thing about the uh, mire and the funeral pyre. I suppose if it had been written by Bob Seger, it would have been like Michelin Tire and uh, the old campfire or something like that. You know, the, uh, the uh, like a uh, radio wire or uh, what else? What would be other rhyming words with uh, fire? Briar? Um, dire. Jim could have used that one. Girl, it couldn't get much dire. And, uh, gyre. Don't know. G uh, higher. That's already in it. It just spelled a different way. Sire. Wire. And then there could be some multi uh, syllabic words as well, I suppose, <coughs> along with those. So, what is what did I want to talk about today? I'm completely running a blank on it. See, I was talking about the printer. So, yeah, this song was a collaboration between uh, Jim and uh, Robbie Krieger, the guitarist there. So, uh, Emrys or Emery. Do you have any uh, song requests for me? This was a request by my good friend George. But um, the Jose Feliciano version has uh, some soloing bits, so I think I'm going to have to work on that and add them in. I don't have them up on the screen right now, but it's something that I'd have to practice and work on. So, come, come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night on fire. Are you still there, Amri? Show me a sign. Oh, yeah, this is what I was going to say. So, as you can see, I'm in dire need of a haircut. Your haircut couldn't get much dire. And uh, so, uh, there's a, I, I usually go to these sort of fancy bobo as we like to say in French, guys. Um, they're called the Maître Barbier de... Uh, de Quelquechere. Le Maître Barbier de... Well, anyway, the Master Barbers of something or another. And anyway, you go in there and their place is all... The decor is all tricked out with uh, all sorts of, uh, you know, sort of old-timey uh, barbershop-type uh, fancy, like, uh, fit wooden fixtures and big paintings and like there would be probably a globe and uh, and some art deco furniture and so forth like that oh there's someone watching on uh on facebook is that my moderator or is that a real person whoever it is oh thanks for passing by um uh so i usually uh, make an appointment and online which is handy and then walk on down there and uh get my hair cut but now that I'm at the atelier, it's sort of uh, much further away. And so uh, uh, I was noticing this, where this atelier is situated now, it's just effing great. I mean, it's it's just great. So right across the street is a little bar, a taba PMU. So you can gamble on horses, buy some cigarettes. Uh, you can buy some CBD as well. You can buy, what else, um, lottery tickets things like that, but I go there to get my cafe in the morning, it's sort of a habit I developed, because I do have a little coffee maker here now, um, you know, one of those Italian little things that you put on the stove or put over the fire and it percolates up, but um, man, this coffee across the street, it's, uh, I get a double shot of uh, Cafe Richa, Cafe Dick, Cafe Richard, it's really good, and so I asked the guy if I, where I could buy some of the, his, the beans, and he's like, oh no, no, you can't do that. So I guess you have to be a proprietor, you have to be a proprietor of this machine uh, to uh, have access to the, to the uh, blend. And uh, right next door is a barber. 
and uh, it's great. Uh, his he, his sign is handwritten, and it's got this cheesy illustration of like a Turkish looking guy, with a in silhouette getting a haircut. It's a line drawing, and um, I'm really tempted to go over there and try my luck. Well, it can't be any worse than what what's going on right here. So, Emery, if you have any song suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I was thinking, I heard um, working in a coal mine. Working in a coal mine, whoop, and -na -na -na. And I'd like to do that one, but I looked at the guitar tab, which is just one. It's very uh, melody-based, because the, it's just a straight B minor chord. And so I don't have the melody memorized, but I can do that. And then it goes, and then it, va it, it toggles between that and F. I might uh, get on that one for the next one, but Emery, or if anyone else has a suggestion, that would be just fantastic. So, what do you think? Should I go to my fancy Beauborg, my uh, bourgeois Bohem uh, barbers, master master barbers, and perruquier? That's what they are. So they're master barbers and wig makers. I saw no evidence of any wig making going on unless they are absconding with the clippings. And uh, have a side biz. You know that she would be a You know that I would be alive if I were to say to you. Bien. Uh, tu toujours en, en Londres? Vous allez bien là-bas? Quoi de neuf? Quoi de neuf alors? Je viens d'être confirmé votre requête, uh, ta requête uh, d'amitié sur le livre de visage. Mais je, uh, franchement, je n'étais pas sûr si il était vraiment toi ou pas. Philippe. Phil. Tu veux euh, dire quelque chose? Juste taper un petit... Euh, ok, peut-être euh, tu es déjà parti, mais euh, merci en tout cas pour d'avoir passé. Euh, euh, D'être passé. Merci. Ok, so I guess that's it for now, huh? Anyone, there's so many of you watching, um, and if you are watching this on the tube of views, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, troll, Send it to your mom. And otherwise, we'll be seeing you, all of you, so many of you. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by tomorrow. Ciao for now. Thanks, Emery. Thanks, Missy Phil. Oh, boy. Fat fingers.